Hey guys, Design Ninja here with another tutorial on how to make your design life better. So how can you create multiple logo formats for your client with a single click of a button? I'm in the actions palette right here in Adobe Illustrator. I press play. It runs through a series of actions, as you will see, closes the file. If I go over to Finder, I have an Illustrator file, an EPS, a JPEG, and a PNG. Let me show you how to do that in a few simple steps. So here we go. Okay, so to make this work, you need to do just a couple of things to get started, to kind of lay the groundwork to make the actions thing work. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that Adobe Illustrator is up to date. If it's not up to date, make sure you do that because Adobe Illustrator has a known issue with the actions palette not remembering what we're about to tell it to do. The second thing you want to do is to create a folder. I've created a folder called Z logo export and I've saved a master of that folder inside of another folder and essentially what I'm going to do is every time I need to export my logos just uh, click and drag with the option button held down and it's going to ask me to replace what I already have there I'll go ahead and do it make another copy of that folder inside of that folder I've made it easy for the client I have one folder called print and another folder called web word PowerPoint. Most clients don't know the difference between a PNG and an EPS, but they do know the difference between print and web. So that'll just kind of keep things simple for them. All right, next you want to head over to Adobe Illustrator. Let's say you've created this logo, and what I'm going to do is copy it, and I'm going to create a new file because we need to do a few things to get ready for the action. Okay, so I'm going to press Command N for new document, and... What we want to do is to create a document that's at least 2,000 pixels wide. All right, and I'm going to cut, or I'm sorry, I'm going to paste in my completed logo. And as you can see, it's quite small. So what I want to do is to go over to the transform palette, and here we are, and make sure that this scale strokes and effects is selected. All right, next you want to click and drag, holding down Shift and Option to constrain proportions. Next, I'm going to grab the artboard tool and just do a little cropping here. So let's pretend like this is your master logo file. This is your native file that you're going to use for your purposes, but you want to export all the file formats for your client. And now we're ready to make the magic happen. So grab the Actions palette. If you don't see it, go to Window, Actions, right here. Find a folder where you want to store your action. Click this button for create new action. Call it whatever you like. Logo format export. Okay, so that folder that we created is waiting for us on the desktop. And obviously you can put that folder in whatever location works best for you. But for me, the desktop works. So I'm gonna do a save as, navigate to that folder. I'm gonna start with the print formats here. I'm gonna save an Illustrator file. Okay, do another save as. I like to save an EPS in that folder as well. And if you're concerned about any compatibility issues, go ahead and select CS6. Next, um, some, sometimes uh, clients like to have a PDF. So let's throw one of those in there. And it'll pop up with this dialog box with Adobe PDF presets. I find that high quality print, which ships with Illustrator, is sufficient. We'll select that one. And some people like to save a TIFF. I don't. Some old school designers do. If that's you, of course, you can do that. Just go to File, Export, and Export As. Make sure you select Use Artboard. Go down to TIFF, Export. Make sure that CMYK is enabled. Make sure that High Quality Print is enabled. Export your TIFF. Okay, so that's all of the print formats. Now we need to do the formats for PowerPoint, Web, and Word. So to do that, I'm going to go to File, Export, and Export As. And again, I'm going to select Use Artboard. Just make sure that you navigate out to Web, Word, PowerPoint. I like to do a PNG because it has a transparent background that's quite useful on the web. PowerPoint and Word. All right, so here you want to make sure that 72 DPI is selected. And basically what that does the file will be 2,000 pixels wide, which I find is high enough resolution for pretty much any web, Word, or PowerPoint application. Click OK. All right, we're going to do that again. Let's make sure you navigate out to that same folder. A lot of people like JPEG, so let's make one of those. Export. 
And for this, you want to make sure you select RGB. For quality, you know, something like 8 is probably good enough for now. Make sure that 72 DPI is selected and hit OK. Now, if there's any other format you'd like to include for print or for web, just add it to the action, whatever that might be. I don't know, maybe you like to create a bitmap for whatever reason. <laughs> so go ahead and do that now. Okay, at this point, if you want to add closing the file to the action, go ahead and do that as well. I'm going to hit Command W to close the file. I'm going to press Stop. That's very important. You don't want to keep recording after you're done. All right, so let's head over to the Finder. And here you can see this folder right here, which is stored on our desktop, has all of the logo formats that we just created. Now let's do a little test and make sure that this works. I'm going to head back over here to my desktop and I'm going to trash this folder and pretend like we're starting over. So I'm going to put a copy, another copy of this folder on my desktop. Head back over to Illustrator. Select the action that you just created. Press play. Allow it a little time to run through the actions. And open up your folder. Bam! All of the logo formats are formatted and ready to go for your client. Hey guys, if you found this video helpful in any way, do me a favor, click like. And if you want to see more helpful tutorials, subscribe to the channel below and make sure you share this on your favorite social media. Happy designing.